today I'm going to review a bike on a game called Ride. Uh, Ride is a racing game, motorcycle racing game. It's out on many different platforms. Uh, I personally play on the PS4. Uh, just think of Gran Turismo for motorcyclists. That's what this is about. It's got uh, all the latest motorcycles out by lots of different manufacturers. Um, lots of different tracks all around the world. Uh, road tracks, race tracks. Um, I've been asked to review this. This is the first time I've ever reviewed anything like this. Uh, I'm a motorcyclist myself, as you can see. Uh, so, if this uh, goes well, uh, I'll review other bikes on the game, uh, about other bikes, the best ones you can buy, and what they're good for. So now to talk about the bike, I'm talking to you today about the KTM Super Duke R. This is a 1290cc motorcycle, a modern naked sports bike with a lot of power. This bike produces 180 brake horsepower for such a small, lightweight bike. It's a very aggressive looking bike, as you can see here, as I just pan around the bike. Uh, this is my bike that I've brought on ride. It's in the orange colour. I've added the Akropovic exhaust uh, and a few other modifications, uh, a different gearbox and a quick shifter just to make the bike a little bit more faster. Uh, but this is an extremely fast sports bike. I'd like to actually test ride one of these and give everyone a, a review of it in the flesh, but I'm having a bit of trouble finding a KTM dealer that's actually got one in stock. Uh, these are quite expensive bikes. They start at about £15,000. That's British sterling. Um, but very, very powerful bikes. As you can see, the bike thunders down the outside, uh, making it very hard to control it going into the first corner. It's very hard to keep this uh, tight line, just to do how much power is actually going through this bike. Uh, this track that I'm actually filming the uh, my gameplay, the video on, is the Doddington track. It's a very narrow track, hard to uh, overtake in a lot of places, and very hard to keep the bike on the track, actually. Uh, just because, as I said, the amount of power going on this, if you look at the way I'm cornering in there, I'm taking a very wide line. It's very hard to keep this as a tight line bike. Uh, just as I said, look, look, this is going very wide there to get around, but you can just see it's got the power uh, on the straights. So on the main drag, you, you're not catching this KTM. It is so quick. I'd like to see if uh, in the real one in the flesh is actually like this. Uh, I should should think it is. It's a set of 1290cc motorbike. Uh, that's a lot of power for a naked sports bike. Um, but as you can see from the slow-mo here, uh, you get a bit of rear wheel lift with the front braking just to get the hard on the brakes to get the actual racing line into the corner. Uh, it's got a very good lean angle on the game. Um, it's not a lot of ground clearance uh, on the exhaust, but you get very, very good lean angles, uh, which is able to get you right in and right down close to the tarmac to use every inch of the, the track that you can. As I said, uh, this bike in this class, this is uh, being raced in the uh, over 120 brake horsepower modern superbike uh, naked class um, I personally think it's one of the better bikes on the game in this class. Uh, and every race that I've raced this with, I've been in the top four. It's, it's a very powerful bike. You don't need to be a uh, good racer in the game to use this bike. I mean, if you go off a couple of times, you're always uh, going to get back on the track and uh, back into a high ranking position with this bike. Uh, it feels very easy to ride on the game. Um, you have to watch, there's, there's a lot of power in the front brake, you can quite easily lift up the back wheel as you're braking for the corners, I don't know if you've seen it as a, as I coming into a couple of the uh, tight sweeping corners, I'm actually uh, lifting the rear wheel, but then as I'm pulling out of the corners you get a lot of front wheel lift as well, so there's a lot of torque power going through this bike, very hard to keep it under control at some points, especially in the chicanes, it's very hard for that, so twisty track this bike's not going to be great for it's very so overall uh, I would give this bike a 9 out of 10 in its category one of the better bikes uh, in the game for this type of category uh, well worth buying this bike in the game 
as I said before, it's quite a strange review to be asked to do this. I normally do uh, film reviews. I've done a couple of motorcycle reviews, and actually my motorcycle reviews have got more views and likes than my film reviews. So when I got a request from a motorcyclist to do this video, I thought, why not? So if it becomes a very popular thing, I will be doing more on the bikes in the game. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this. Medic!